Las Vegas here with your favorite station, Power 107.5, 106.3. We've got a, an amazing special guest here today who really needs no introduction. But if you need one, comedian, master impressionist, actor, Scott Free. You are. What's up? <laughs> Master and president. I just happen to do voices online, and now I'm like, you're a master and president. You're dope. It, it's so natural. So I appreciate that. So, so we've got some rapid fire questions. I'm gonna okay. throw at you. Are you ready? Rapid. First thing okay. that comes to your mind. Come on, you're slow. Okay. You ready? Go. Favorite sports team. Favorite sports team. Yankees. Period. Favorite vacation spot. Man, favorite vacation spot. Ah, that's a tough one. What? Or somewhere you have like the best time. Tokyo. Tokyo. Period. Okay. Favorite rap group? Uh, Wu Tang Clan. Period. <laughs> uh, okay. Favorite rap song? Triumph. Okay. Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. I love Drake though. They can really never make me hate Drake. Uh, no, I don't hate Drake, but he does. He sings and does. Uh, he does this weird. He does Kendrick rhymes. Period. Okay. Uh, favorite actor? Denzel, watch. Period. The Kang. Favorite actress? Oh, um, ooh, favorite actress. This is a good one. Oh, I love Angela Bassett. You were saying that. I knew it. I knew it. I was thinking that. Auntie Angie, we love you, okay? Yes. Yes. Um, best part about being famous. Um, best part about being famous, get privileges, you know? Privileges. I like privileges. People do like go to extra mile mm -hmm. to do stuff for you, but I'm appreciative of it. I'm, and I don't feel entitled and I treat people with respect. I don't ever think I'm gonna get what I want, but it's nice when people do, you know, and, and also being greeted in the street by like public servant. I like, mm -hmm. getting, I like when bus drivers stop their buses and honk. That's, yeah. I think that's the coolest thing. Garbage men are like, yo, cause city workers yeah. don't care about nothing but they pension okay. and all they properties. And, and then when, they, yeah. when a garbage man stops, when a policeman stops, when a bus driver stops, that is cool to me. I, that's just something about city work. I feel that. That's dope. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate that. You're a very humble guy. And you don't have to be. because I would say humble. grounded. Because humble is actually a terrible definition. I looked up humble. It, sees, it says meaning feeling that you're less than. Mm. Grounded is to me is much better. Grounded Accurate. is like, because I'm just, that's, that's just me naturally. I'm not, you know, when you, you know, when you hear people like, oh, this person was a, an a-hole. It's because they were always that. Yeah. They just needed more money to be mm. able to be that. That's all. Definitely. But I'm always like this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to give another shout out to Jelly Roll. I met Jelly Roll. I was with Jelly yes. Roll a couple of days ago. You talk about one of the nicest human beings. Mm. And he's huge. He's doing Madison Square Garden. Nice. He's massive. And he, I was going to go. He invited me. He's a fan of mine. And I'm going to tell you, you talk about grounded and just a good guy. And I wish him all the success. He's such a good guy. Yeah. And you can, you can be successful and be good. For instance, you can be a big good person. You don't have to be an idiot. You don't. Mm -hmm. Do not. Yeah. Amen. OK, what is your top five stand-up lineup? Pryor, Carlin, Red Fox, Paul Mooney, and uh, Joe Rivers. OK. I love Paul Mooney. He's a legend. All of them. Chicago House Party. Period. I knew you were going to say that. Favorite place to perform stand-up? Uh, the Comedy Cellar in New York City. Okay, of course. Yeah. Uh, what is the worst part about being famous? Um, when people just kind of um, interrupt, you know, they kind of just barge in on your, your space mm -hmm. and think you owe them something mm -hmm. because they've seen you on something mm -hmm. and they don't treat you as a human being. And then when you answer them back, or they'll say, yo, tell me a joke. I go, I'm not a clown, bro. Right. And then now they want to get aggressive with you. I go, no, but I would have said that even if I wasn't a comedian. Mm -hmm. I'm acting exactly the way I act. This is, people know in college, I'm acting the same way, like, yo, why are you talking to me crazy, dog? Why are you doing that? Period. Yeah, when they do that, because it's insecurity, mm -hmm. so they gotta either be on some hateful stuff or nice. And if someone's cool with me, I go, oh man, I appreciate that. But when they're like this, yo, tell me a joke, I like, do I look like a clown? And right. now they get mad. And why are you being so ugly? Then they'll go, yeah, Goffrey was an asshole. I go, but did you tell him what you did first? Mm. First, tell him how you behaved. Make sure you tell both sides. And then your friends will probably be like, but why'd you say that to him? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I have an Yeah, now they're questioning you. Like, I was minding my own. Yeah. I have an example. I was in a, a vitamin store, because I like health food stuff. So I was in a vitamin store. GNC? No, nah, GNC is trash. I was in a vitamin store. It is. GNC is so bad. I was in a vitamin store, 
and I was like um, looking for stuff, and some dude came up to me. I don't know, he was wearing something. He was like, yo, you think you funny? You think you funny? And he was just doing it back and forth. I was like, what's wrong with this dude? He said, you think you funny? Man, what's up? I th- and, and I'm like, I said, I guess you're supposed to be scaring me or something like that, right? I said, I'm, I said, man, I'm from Chicago, bro. All this thing you doing, whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever. So I just did, he was just bothering me. And a lady that was behind the counter was like, why don't you get out of here? Why are you bothering him, right? So I walk out, I leave the store. And then a few weeks later, I, I, I'm walking down the street. And I see this dude with dreads. He's on a, a laptop. And he comes up to me. He said, you got me, right? I said, yeah. He said, I, got, I owe you an apology. I said, what, what do you mean? I owe you an apology because remember when you were, you were in a vitamin shop and, and there was some dude being real, like, weird to you and, like, almost aggressive? I said, yeah. He said, that was me. Mm-hmm. What? I said, you, the guy, nice dreads, you're on a computer, you look like you, you know, you're educated. Yeah. He goes, I don't know why I did that. Mm. But I was, I was nervous and I, I, was, I felt weird because I, I watched what you do. Yeah. I, and then I told my friends what I had done. And they checked me. They said, why would you do that to him? Yeah. Like, yo, he, yo, it's God, what? So they made him apologize to me. But I love that that came back around. Yeah, it came back yeah. around, man, because I didn't know what that was. I was like, this dude being Yeah, because a- what did you want, gang? Like, Yo, what's, and I'm, you know, I, what do you want to do? I'm be like, well, what you going to do, dog? I, I don't know what he's, yeah, but it was weird. Yeah, but that's the only thing I don't like about. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, what's a movie or a TV show you, you wish you were a part of? Oh, wow. Man, that's a good one. A t- TV show or a movie? A TV show like, oh, a TV show would be like Tulsa King. Okay. With Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Yeah. I love Tulsa King. Um, I would be, uh, movies, it would be Blade. Come on, Blade. Period. Period. They don't even know about that. I could play that. (laughs) I studied martial arts for a long time, so. What was that movie? It was a movie recently where they had, um, what was it? It had Blade and a couple of older Deadpool. That's what it was. Yeah. When they popped up, I was like, oh my God, I was telling myself, like, you don't even know. Well, people have to understand that Snipes is the reason why uh, Marvel is back up on its feet. Mm. It was it was Blade because I met Stanley. My friend used to work for Stanley, and I met Stanley three times. And I was I was able to hang out with Stanley by myself in his office wow. at Power Entertainment. He's eighty nine years old, and he he walked me around, and he comes up, and he and he and he points to Wesley Snipes. You know, Wesley is a big poster. He goes, Wesley Snipes is the reason why we're safe. Wow. Marvel is, we, the reason why Marvel is not in trouble is because of Wesley Snipes. Wow. Wesley, Wesley saved Marvel, but we ain't seen another Blade in 24 years. But we've seen Avengers, we've seen Iron Mans, we've seen Hulks, we've seen spider Mans, we've seen all that, but Blade hasn't shown up again. But I'm glad that Ryan Reynolds brought Wesley in mm-hmm. because Ryan Reynolds was in Blade 3. Mm. And he did him a favor because that was what they did to Wesley was wrong. Yeah. Because Blade was amazing. Yeah, for sure. And so it it's nice to see Wesley back. And I think if he's gonna be in the Marvel, the multiverse. Mm-hmm. I'm just it's mm-hmm. nice to see it's him exciting. back. It is. Because he saved he's the one to save Marvel. Yeah, and you heard that directly from Stan. Yeah, I said Stan Stan Lee told me that. Yeah, he's like, I get me. It, 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 it was Wesley Snipes. <laughs> I can do him too. I know. Okay. Stanley Weeb Leibowitz from the Bronx. Okay, yeah. he's a legend. Last week, rapid fire Sharks or Heralds? What you say? Sharks or Heralds? Heralds. Period. Chicago pizza or New York pizza? You know what? I like them both mm-hmm. because I like the deep dish and I like the chi- of the um, the New York thin thin crust pizza. Like mm-hmm. you got Lou Malnati's. You got GGO's in Chicago. You got Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza, that's where they shot Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man where he was working. That's my spot. That's where I go. Joe's Pizza, those are my peoples for like 15 years. So yeah, Joe's Pizza, and there's also um, Patsy's Pizza in, in Harlem, which is fire, fire pizza. Right, right there, Patsy's and Joe, Patsy's. we need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Last one, Chicago comedy clubs or New York comedy clubs? New York. Really, why? New York has, it's just way more, it's more, it's more intense, mm-hmm. more international. Okay. And I love Chicago. I'm a Chicagoan forever, but 
New York, that's the reason why I moved to New York, because of the way comedy clubs are. There's so many comedy clubs in New York City, and it's so international, man. Like, everybody's from a different country when you perform. That's why when I go overseas and perform, it's very easy because we got all of that in New York City. So. Okay. All right. So, we, before we get up out of here, you mm -hmm. know, it, it, it would be remiss if we didn't have you do some impersonations. Ugh. And I'm not going to give you any suggestions, okay? What are some of your favorite people to impersonate? They're eating the dogs. <laughs> it's so bad. They're eating cats and barbecuing parakeets. I saw them barbecuing. I love parakeets, my favorite bird. They're such good birds. Pigeons are the worst. Eat the pigeons, leave the parakeets alone. <laughs> I'm proud. Okay, do you have like a Obama or Biden one? Uh, I just want to say uh, that uh, Trump's an idiot. Uh, who's eating dogs or cats? And I've seen Trump eat a lot of different things. I mean, he's fat as hell. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dope. So, so dope. Steve Harvey. I ain't eating no dog. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's crazy. <laughs> Eating a dog, what the hell I look like? <laughs> got me crazy. Hell. And in future, you ain't got no damn future, boy. I'm going to kick your ass when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much for coming today. We appreciate you. Give it yeah. up for Godfrey, Rock Rapid Fire. Bang, 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 bang. We try to go as oh, fast. Where can we follow you? Because you got a new Instagram, right? I have a new Instagram, guys. Godfrey Comic, C-O-M-I-C -C is my Instagram. My YouTube channel is Godfrey Comedian. And my podcast is in Godfrey We Trust on the Gas Digital Network. And I'm also, I have a GoFundMe because I want to, sh I'm shooting a special next year and I want to raise the money on my own because a lot of us, like my boy Ali Sadiq, who you, you should watch his um, domino effect on YouTube, a lot of times, a lot of these streaming, a lot of these companies don't approach like the real comics. Mm -hmm. And they, so we're going to do it ourselves. I'm not going to sit around and bitch about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I have a GoFundMe. Go to GoFundMe.com, Godfrey's um, special, and donate. And donate, you know what I'm saying? Donate. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Run that GoFundMe up. Shout out to Will I Am, who sent me like 20 Gs for my oh, special to start me off. He's a big fan of mine. And I didn't even ask him. He just did it on his own, but from Black Eyed Peas. Well, we're Easy. looking forward to see that special, period. Oh, no, it's going to be dope. Thank you for coming in today. I hope this gets to people. I hope we're not wasting our time on this. <laughs> you guys got to come and see real comedy. Like, come on now. Mm -hmm. My man, Akeem, it's going to be off the chain. Like, I don't even get it. Anybody you go and see, I'll smoke all of them. Period. I'm trying to come I'll tonight. Smoke all I need of a them ticket, though. Stage. All right. I'll smoke all of them off the stage. Watch what I tell you. <laughs> and he said what he said. <laughs> I told you I'm the greatest. I'm fast, I'm pretty. I shook up the world. I am the greatest. Nobody can mess with me. Joe Frazier, you're too ugly to be the champ. I'm the greatest. I'm so fast, I turn off the light and get to bed before the room gets dark. I'm fast. <laughs> okay, and that's a wrap.